me forward. He's probably right. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. Okay, so in Eclipse, did anybody want to make a new, how to start? No. Okay, so if you go to File and New, it's the same basic principle. We're going to make a new Java project. And I'm going to call it. What, we, what is it? Yeah. Thank you. First Java program. Okay, so I'm going to set my version and click next and click finish. I don't think you need to check any boxes. I think that's this should be fine. So same basic setup. You're going to have the, the Java libraries. You're going to have an SRC directory. So if you want to create the class, you right click SRC, go to new, and go to class. What should we call our class? Hello world. Hello world? OK. Well, it's the, the assignment. What do they want us to, they say they want us to call it? I'll call it first Java program. So with Eclipse, you can have, you can decide to add packages and all this stuff at, at the outset. You can add the public static void main string function. It'll put that in there for you. So if you check that box, it'll add that function and click finish. And there it is. So what am I supposed to say? Yep. Okay, my name is Coding Dojo. Can I zoom in? How do you zoom in? There we go. So how do I print something to the screen? We, so we already, that was generated for us. We already have that function. Yeah. I think it, is it sys out? There we go. Yeah. Uh, sys out. And then you hold down the control and then the space bar. Okay. Is this okay? No. Double quotes. My name is Coding Dojo. Ah. Oh. Sorry about that. What else? I don't know, man. I think IntelliJ is better. It's kind of a pain in my butt. S Y S, -Y -S out. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, right? There we go. What else does it say? I'm 100 years old. That's how I feel. Oh my God. There we go. I don't know. Okay.
So now to get this to run, I can see a bunch of red and it's bothering me. I don't know. I guess it's the same way. So just click on the hover over the program you or the class you want to run, right click. And if you go down here, instead of just run, it's run as, and then just go over to Java application. Hold on. What? It says I have errors. I don't see any errors. Must have put her name tag in. Oh. Oh my God. So what is my? Oh, they make a default package. Oh, this is, this is terrible. Okay. Um, can it, will it let me drag it? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm never doing this again. This is terrible. Are you getting the second? I'm trying to get it to run. Yeah. Package. It should. Is that why it's mad? There we go. Okay. Have you used this before? There we go. Cool. That's how you do it in clips. That's why it's free. Sometimes you get what you pay for. All right, any questions? Okay, how would I do that? Okay. Like this? Yeah. Is it because you wanted them on different lines? Yeah. But I don't have to. I mean, I can. How do you wrap? I guess we should start using. Daniel, how do you screen wrap or you had to soft wrap? Uh, <laughs> All right, anyway. So if, if you want to do it this way, though, you can just put in the new line characters. It's not that way, though. It's is it this one. No. This one. Let's find out. Yeah. So I'm a hundred years old. Which one did I use? This one. Cool. Then I can take these out. So if I put this in a package, I know where this, but if I wanted this in another file, right? I have, let's say, I wanna make a new class called utils. Okay. 
And I want to take that print statement and put it in a function or a method in utils. Okay, so I said public. So it's not going to reach, I'm just printing to the screen, so the return type is void. That's bad. Let's do print message. Okay, so now this functionality is in a different class, in a different method. I want to call this method in, in here. So I, utils is a class, right, that has the, met, the method print message. So I need to, in first Java program, I need to make an instance of that class. So I'm going to say utils. Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Hans. New utils. Okay. So now Hans is an instance of my utils class. Now that I have that instance, I can call this instance method, print message. Okay, so I go back to my main, or where is it? First Java program. I say Hans dot print message. Okay, now when I run this, I get the same same thing. So basically, we're just taking the functionality, putting it somewhere else, compartmentalizing our code. Okay, make sense? Sort of, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you're 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 basically going to break your program up into separate classes or packages. And when we get to Spring, it's going to or prescribe how to do that. It's going to there's a framework we're going to follow. So okay. So print messages is or print messages your your function. Mm -hmm. So you can call that at any point you want, and that that's all you're doing when you're declaring it is you're just calling that function. Yes. So I can call this 10 more times. I just have to call it something else if I want to. Like instead of calling it Hans, would I have to call it something else? If I wanted to call the function or do message again? No. Or print message? No, because it's just, just like anything else, we, have, we already have our, me our instance, right? We have Hans. We can call print message again. So why not just call it print message? Then? Why do I got to? I don't understand why you have to make like, is it just print message? Why do you have to call it Hans or print message? Because everything in Java is a class. You can't have just a file with functions in it. It has to be a class. So you have to create an instance of the class to call it. And I, I just lied to you a little bit, but I, I'll, I just have to tell you that, that I'm lying. But I'll, I'll tell you the truth in a couple of days. I, but I want to keep it simple and get to, get to where we understand this. Okay, so instead of printing out the string, I want to put this into variables. I want to say, my name is Coding Dojo, be message one. So I want to declare variables with these values. So how would I declare a variable to hold my name is Coding Dojo? No, we want to declare a variable. So if I, just like it, so in Python, we would just say name, right? equals this. Uh, what do you mean by X? Yes, we have to say what it is, right? We can't just declare a variable 
and have the interpreter decide what it is for us, right? We have to be explicit when we declare a variable. So we say string, spell spring, string right, names. We have to just say the type of the variable, the name of the variable, and then what the variable holds. No, because this is the type, this is the variable, okay? So if I want hometown, exactly, we do string hometown, equals Burbank, California. So now every time you call that variable, it's going to print that string. Mm -hmm. What am I forgetting? Semicolon. Those semicolons, a lot of fun. Okay. So I've got name, hometown, and I have age. So if I just want to save this string, it would just be another string. But yes, if I want to save my actual age, I would say int age equals 100. So if I want, I can say I am 100 years old. I want just this to be my variable. We'll get to how to print in a second. Okay. So that means 100 is an object. This is primitive. So it's takes much less memory than declaring an object to hold a, a number. It's kind of overkill to, to declare the object, okay? Couldn't, couldn't we do like SDR instead of string, or is, that, is there a primitive value for string? There is not, okay. no. So string, is just string is an object in Java. Yeah, let's do that now. So let me put in my new line. So let me just say print line name. Let's see what that gives us. So I get my name is coding dojo. My name is coding dojo. Why did it print it twice? Oh, I'm running the wrong one. You're right. Let me run the right file. Oh, my print. Oh, yeah, I'm calling print message twice. That's why. Hans made me do it. There we go. So now, now my name is coding. My name is coding dojo. So now, if I want to print hometown. Yeah, you can't, so it's not like Python where you can put commas, you gotta. Okay, yeah. There's a little more, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, that, I mean, yes, it can be done. I don't know how to do it though. That's, that's, I didn't get that far. I mean, so you would need to, you'd need to import the file and do all that. So, and there's libraries for S converting it to S from CSV, but yeah, it can be done. No, there's an API in Java that will let you do that. Okay, so now if I run this,
I think I have an extra space in there somewhere. So now I want to print, I am 100 years old. Where does that go? In the middle. Okay, so I want to say, sys out. How do I do that? Does anybody know? Okay, so if I just say age, what's that going to do? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So we need to use system.out.format. What does it say? I am. So I am percent. D, right, is it percent D? Let's see if that works. Yeah, I forgot my, that's new life. Uh, I think you would have to say age uh, that many times. Let me see if it works. Yeah, I get an error. So if I say age, comma age, comma age, it'll print it that many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I wanted to do name, um, well, so I would change my name to Coding Dojo, first of all. Change this to dot .format. My name is, but for strings, it's percent %s. And when you're formatting, you have to add the new line. Okay. So what I could do is this. I could say my name is that I am percent D years old. Um, my hometown is percent S. And I really want to know how to, how to wrap. Oh well, let me just let it zoom out. So my name is, and I have a place for the name string. I am percent D, which is the place for the integer. And my hometown is percent S. So I just need to give it the variables in the order I want them to occur. So my name is name, comma age. And then if I change home down to hometown to Burbank, California, Name, age, hometown. I'm going to take these out. Or just comments them out. And that's it. The way that I do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
It, it's a matter of preference, right? I mean, I think this is probably the most concise and, but, you know, preference, whatever. Yeah. It kind of gets uh, it gets unwieldy trying to track like where does you know where does this percent s go where does this percent d go. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so if I say my name is Coding Dojo, and instead of I am, I could percent D, I'm sorry, percent S is 100 years old. Uh, percent S is hometown is percent S. Now, I, now I'm kind of getting confused. So now I have to say name, common name. Age, common name. If you had three different things, then you get three different names and three different ages. Yeah. yeah. So if, uh, that's complete now, right? That's all. So to, to break this down, when you went on to Eclipse, you created a project, right? And that project is your package name, mm -hmm. right? And then your so your pro project becomes your package, and in your package you define a class, uh, and mm -hmm. then in your class you create an instance that has messages. Yes. Right? Yep. And then you define the variables which are the strings of the image. Right. And then you call them up. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Troy, you have a question? Utils. Uh, yes. Uh, is it? A f I don't see a flashlight. Oh, God bless you. But it didn't work. Stupid computer. Yeah. But thank you. I appreciate the the effort. All right. Any questions? Okay. So I'm done for the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be done, man. You're just getting started. Um, so I'm going to come around. I'm, well, obviously not preparing for, for Java anymore, so I will come around and give you guys any assistance you need. Please, 20-minute rule, right? Don't spend 